Well, Disney really just dropped a bomb on us, didn't they? I know by now most of you know about the breaking news that Disney just dropped on us. I just received an official email from Disney, so I'll start with reading this email quickly. As we plan for the reopening of our Disney Resort hotels and theme parks, we are keeping the well-being of our guests and cast in mind. And we're here to help you as we introduce new procedures focused on delivering an enjoyable and magical experience for everyone who visits. To manage attendance and foster physical distancing during this unprecedented time, we will be changing and suspending some park experiences. We will be introducing a new theme park reservation system. Unfortunately, these new measures have required us to cancel any FastPass Plus selections you may have made. We recognize the inconvenience this poses and we're deeply sorry. However, because you have valid theme park admission, you will have access to theme park reservation system before new tickets are sold to other guests. There's nothing you need to do at this time. We'll be contacting you soon with details on this new system. At this time, while systems update, we are temporarily suspending all modifications. However, you have the option of canceling your entire reservation. We're putting great thought into helping you return to the magic and appreciate your patience. Any more information, call 407. W Disney. I'm just going to say it. I'm not a fan of this. I don't know how it's going to work. I know Disney will make it work and I trust Disney to make it work. But from the past 12 hours on social media, there's been a lot of angry people. A lot. Wouldn't you say baby Yoda? See, right now we know Disney canceled all dining plans, all dining reservations, all of your fast passes, and they suspended extra magic hours. Also, I've been seeing this floating around the internet. This has not been confirmed by Disney as of right now, but as we know, the news changes on the hour, but no memory maker. No memory maker. Theme park reservations to enter the park. I've been hearing it's going to be on a first come first serve basis. And I've been calling this the last few days. If you want to uh, go to the parks, you gotta be there early and you have to get a reservation. I don't know how early they will release these reservations, but I guarantee you on the first day they release these reservations. It's probably going to break down there. They will probably do it on the My Disney Experience app or the Disney website. I still can't believe this is happening. Like it, it doesn't feel real. I know we're going on almost three months of this pandemic and it still just does not feel real. Like Disney's closed. Disney's been closed. And when we go back, we have to wear a mask. We have all these restrictions. Now we have to make reservations. It has not been officially announced by Disney, but the parks are reopening July 11th, but Disney will have soft openings before. This would include annual pass holders, DVC members, Club 33 members, and cast members. I think these soft previews really need to happen. That way you get your annual pass holders in, you can get your Florida residents in, you get your DVC members in, and your Club 33 members, and then, all of your cast members. I think this needs to happen over two weeks before July 11th. That way we can be the test subjects for the new safety protocols throughout the parks. Cast members can see how it will work. And that way, if I have two solid weeks to go to Disney before July 11th, there is no need for me to be in that park July 11th, July 15th, probably that first one to two weeks. Really no need for me to be at Disney. Now, I would want to go to Disney, of course, but if I have two weeks before these parks reopen, I'm good. And I feel like if that happens, it won't be so crowded. That way Disney can just concentrate on the people who have existing reservations that are traveling from the States. I don't think international just yet, but right now the States. And before all of this can happen, we need that travel restriction to go away because right now, I think in some States, the travel restriction is still there. I don't know how that's going to work. I know this is in July. We still have about a month and a half to go right now. This is just a rumor has not been confirmed by Disney. The Disney resort pools could reopen when the resorts reopen. Now we don't know when the resorts are opening because Disney pulled 
their statement from the statement they released yesterday about the rest of the resorts. We still know the DVC resorts and Fort Wilderness is opening June 22nd, but Disney did state you won't have to wear a face covering while swimming or dining. So that is really good to know. We still don't know about the water parks, even though on the updated park hours on July 11th and beyond, it says both water parks will open. Also, Disney sent out a email to DVC members about what to expect when coming back. The big thing to take away, and I quote, all members and guests will be asked to wear a face covering in public resort areas. So pretty much everywhere, besides your room, you will have to wear a mask, I'm guessing. Right now, if you go to your My Disney Experience app, the Fast Pass option is completely gone and all of my future Fast Passes disappeared. They no longer exist. The other really big question that I have is how will Disney security work now? I have really never been a fan on how Disney does security going into the theme parks because it takes so long, especially on a busy day and busy days are like every day now. But now after this pandemic, I don't know how I feel about someone wearing gloves or not digging through my bag and then digging through the next person's bag and then a thousand other people and then a thousand other people before my bag. I think it's time to switch to a universal slash airport system. I just think that's easier. I don't know if they will do it. But again, my own opinion, I would like to see that happen. I've been doing this thing where I get bored and I pull out my phone and I'll go to the My Disney Experience app and I'll just see if Disney has made any changes. And so far, they have made changes every single day. And one of the newest changes I've noticed, it says Spaceship Earth is under refurbishment. And that makes me sad if this is true because, well, it is supposed to be under refurbishment right now for like a year or two years. I don't know. It, it's a long time, but I never got to write it one last time. I never got to film it one last time. And I hope Disney surprises us and keep Spaceship Earth for a little while. If it's true, it, it makes me a little sad because I do love that ride. And that is all of the breaking news I have for you guys today. I know after I upload this video, something new will come out and I will try my best to keep you guys updated. Just be sure you are following me along on Instagram because I promise you all of the breaking news, that is where I will release it first and the quickest. I still don't know how I feel about this entire thing. I'm trusting Disney to make this happen, but they have their work cut out for them. They have a major challenge. I know a lot of people are upset. I know a lot of people, you know, they want to visit the happiest place on earth and I'm one of them. I'll tell you another thing. Shout out to all of the Disney cast members that are working the reservation system right now because I would not want to be in guest relations. My question that I have for you guys today, I have so many regarding this topic. How do you feel about this new reservation system? How do you feel that Disney has taken away all of your existing reservations? I mean, they pulled everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here because we do this quite often. Make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you'll always be notified when I upload a brand new video like this or even go live. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice. There's a lot of madness going on in the world right now, but just know we're all here. We're all in it together. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming. Ouch. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly for those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. All the ones you told me.